I'm Kelly Lochenberg, the Genetic Counselor at Next Genetics, and today we're going to be addressing the question, can we transfer mosaic embryos? As part of your IVF treatment, early stage embryos can be genetically tested to determine if they have the correct amount of chromosome material present. In typically developing embryos, you would expect to have 46 chromosomes present. If there are extra or missing chromosomes, this is referred to as embryos that are aneuploid. Embryos with the correct amount of chromosomes are referred to as euploid. There is a third category of embryos, which are called mosaic embryos. In these embryos, we have two different cell lines. Some cells will have the correct amount of chromosomes, so 46 in total, and other cells will have an incorrect number of chromosomes. So either something extra or something missing. So here we have a visual representation of what I've just explained. Um, on the blue, in the blue you can see euploid embryos, so where you have the correct number of chromosome material present, so 46 chromosomes in total. In the middle we have aneuploid um, embryos which have the incorrect number of chromosomes present, so either something extra or something missing. And then the last category are mosaic embryos and you can see here that there's a mix of cells with euploid um, chromosomes and aneuploid chromosomes. Historically, any embryos with the incorrect amount of chromosomes were discarded by fertility clinics. However, there's emerging evidence to say that some mosaic embryos could be considered for transfer. A small subset of them may result in a healthy pregnancy, but there are a number of different things that need to be taken into consideration when considering a mosaic embryo for transfer. It is quite a complex matter and should be discussed in detail with your genetic counsellor. While there are studies that have shown that transferring mosaic embryos have resulted in healthy pregnancies, it is important to know that some of these mosaic embryos may not implant and there may be a higher rate of miscarriage when considering a mosaic embryo for transfer. A small group of these embryos may well result in a healthy pregnancy and live birth. When considering a mosaic embryo for transfer, there are a number of things that need to be taken into consideration. One of the first things is what is the level of mosaicism that's involved. Mosaic embryos can be categorized as either low-level mosaics or high-level mosaics. Another point to consider is which chromosomes are involved in the mosaicism. Is it a whole chromosome or is it only part of a chromosome? And one of the most important things to consider is what has your journey been to this point? And for each couple, that will be different. There will be a number of circumstances to take into account when making these decisions. And your fertility doctor and a genetic counselor can guide you to think about all the things that may be relevant when considering these embryos for transfer. So in conclusion, mosaic embryos can be considered for transfer. There are a number of things to consider and these should be carefully discussed with a genetic counselor before making this very complicated decision. For more information on the reproductive genetic tests offered by Next Genetics, please see our contact information below. For more informational videos, please remember to subscribe to VitaLab's YouTube channel.